Hello my dear students and my dear friends assalamu alaikum i hope all of you are fine friends as you know that we are discussing about the blood supply of the lower limb right so in the previous lecture we have discussed uh, the blood supply of the lower limb up to the uh, blood supply of the leg right now it's turn to study and discuss about the blood supply of the foot then we will cover all the blood supply of the lower limbs right so let me uh, show you that what we have done up to now and what are we going to discuss right now so friends as we know we have thigh region of the leg of the lower limb then we have the knee joint and then we have the leg region right friends and then after leg region we have the foot right so look carefully we have the foot like this so this is the thigh region right and this is the leg region and this is the foot so we have covered the arteries which are present in thigh region we have discussed about all those arteries you can go and watch those lectures so that you would have a clear concept about the blood supply of the lower limbs that we have written here right then in the previous lectures i discussed about the branches of arteries which are present in the leg region those were the anterior tibial artery right that was the anterior tibial artery there was the posterior tibial artery and the fabular artery and all their branches i have discussed in detail you can go and watch those lectures right now in this lecture we are going to discuss about the blood supply of the foot right so as you can see here i have drawn uh, one foot but two surfaces of them right so this is the right foot and it is the dorsal surface i will show you right now here right and that is the foot and there is a plantar surface of the foot right so we will look carefully we will discuss about the branches of arteries which are present in the dorsal surface of the foot right and we will discuss about the branches of arteries which are present in the plantar surface of the foot right so foot has two surfaces this is its dorsal surface and this is its plantar surface right friends so we will cover the branches of the arteries which are present in the plantar surface of the foot and we will discuss about the branches of the arteries which are present in the dorsal surface of the foot clear friends as you can see here this diagram represents the foot which is shown its dorsal surface right as you can see here this is a foot right and this is a right foot now this surface is the dorsal surface of the foot and this is the plantar surface so in this diagram you can see the person's foot like this right so this this diagram shows the dorsal surface of this foot and that diagram we have drawn like this right so this diagram shows the plantar surface of the foot clear friends so we will discuss about the branches of arteries which are present in the dorsum of the foot right up to the phalanges and we will discuss about the branches of arteries in that diagram which are present in the plantar surface of the foot then we will cover the blood supply of the lower limb so friends uh, before starting my lecture regarding the blood supply of the foot it's a humble request that if you are watching our lecture for the first time please please share our videos with your friends and watch my lectures which are in detail and you will have a clear concept about the blood supply of those regions which i have discussed right i have discussed about the blood supply of the face i have discussed about the blood supply of the brain i have discussed about the blood supply of the upper limb and now we are covering the lower limb also then we have discussed about the branches of arteries which are present in thoracic region so we have discussed all of them you can go and watch those lectures right so let us begin our lecture and uh, uh, that is regarding the blood supply of the foot clear friends so let me write here the blood supply of the foot i hope uh, it's clear 
right so what is this friend this is a right foot right let me write here this is a right foot first of all and this foot this diagram represents the dorsal view right so this is the dorsal surface dorsal surface right friends and that diagram shows the plantar surface we will discuss that later in the next lecture right let me discuss the branches of arteries which are present in the dorsal surface of the foot first of all my dear friends so we know that in the previous lecture i have discussed that uh, this is our tibia right and this is the fabula so in the interior compartment of the leg I'm reminding the previous lecture in the interior compartment of the leg there was an artery coming anteriorly which was which were called the anterior tibial artery clear friends so this is our anterior tibial artery right and this interior tibial artery when it comes down clear it gives off lateral medial malleolar branches and lateral malleolar, malleolar branches we have discussed all these branches in the previous lecture then it comes anteriorly and gives the dorsalis pedis artery right so the continuation of the anterior tibial artery is dorsalis pedis pedis means foot so dorsalis means to the dorsal surface and pedis means foot so this artery is the continuation of the anterior tibial artery and that is called the dorsalis pedis artery so we say that the dorsal surface of the foot is supplied by a major artery which is the continuation of the anterior tibial artery that is called the dorsalis pedis artery clear friends so let me first of all name all these arteries which are present here my dear friends this artery represents our anterior tibial artery right this is anterior tibial artery and we have discussed its branches in detail right then the anterior tibial artery when it comes forward distal to the ankle joint right i have shown it here this is ankle joint distal to the ankle joint this artery gives the dorsalis pedis artery right so this artery is our yeah this one is our dorsalis pedis artery let me name it here. This is our dorsalis pedis artery. Clear friends. So this dorsalis pedis artery is also known as artery of the foot. The dorsal artery of the foot. Right? Because this is the main artery which is responsible to give all those branches which are present in the dorsal surface of the foot. Right? So first of all there is dorsalis pedis artery so we should know about its origin and about its branches so first of all what is dorsalis pedis artery we should know that so dorsalis pedis artery let's first define it this artery is also known as the dorsal artery of the foot it is also known as also known as dorsal artery of foot why because it is the main artery which is present on the which gives branches which supplies blood to the dorsal surface of the foot right so it is also known as the dorsal artery of the foot and it is also it is a what is it arises off it arises from the anterior tibial artery so we say that it is the branch of anterior tibial artery or we say that it is the continuation of anterior tibial artery clear my dear friends now what is the origin point of this artery from what does the, this artery arise this artery arises from the anterior tibial artery right it arises from anterior 
arterial artery first of all it's clear i hope right this was our anterior tibial artery now the anterior tibial artery distal to the uh, ankle joint gives the dorsalis pedis artery right friends so it arises from the anterior tibial artery and uh, in which point does this arises it arises distal to ankle joint ankle joint clear friends and it moves down in between the uh, muscles uh, th there are two muscles uh, here and this artery moves in between them and those are muscles are called the I will write it between right this artery moves down anteriorly to the dorsum of the foot between the extensor hallucis longus muscle right between extensor hallucis longus and uh, extensor digitorum longus right so extensor digitorum longus muscles right so this artery comes anteriorly to the dorsum of the foot in between the extensor hallucis longus and extensor digitorum longus muscles right what are the branches of this artery branches so first of all let's see here my dear friends look carefully i will show you that this artery is our anterior tibial artery and these branches branches are the uh, this is the medial malleolar branch right and this is the lateral malleolar branch so first of all we should know all these branches right look carefully this branch is the branch of the anterior tibial artery this is called the medial malleolar branch medial interior or interior medial malleolar branch medial interior malleolar branch right and this one is our lateral lateral malleolar branch or artery clear now look carefully this is our anterior tibial artery and it moves down and this artery goes the what is this this artery this is the dorsalis pedis artery right so we are going to discuss the branches of the dorsalis pedis artery so here is the first branch which this artery gives right here is the first and here are the next branches so this artery which is going to the lateral side right this artery is called the lateral tarsal artery as this artery is coming on the surface of the tarsal bones right that's why we call it the lateral tarsal artery so the first branch which arises from the dorsalis pedis artery is the lateral tarsal artery or lateral tarsal branch okay let me use the right color yeah lateral tarsal artery or branch clear friends so this branch is our lateral tarsal branch branch right friends this artery which is the lateral tarsal branch it is a branch of the dorsalis pedis artery this artery supplies some muscles which are present here the tarsal bones the joints in between the tarsal bones right the skin and fascia and other things right so we should know that this artery is responsible to supply blood it supplies blood to tarsals tarsal bones let me write 
tarsal bones joints which are present in between the tarsal bones and muscle which is present here the extensor digitorum brevis right friends so the lateral tarsal artery or lateral tarsal branch supplies blood to the <coughs> yeah tarsal bones on the lateral side right the joints in between the tarsal bones so it means that this artery gives of some perforating branches some small small branches to supply these areas and the muscles which are present and the tendons here right so this is called the lateral tarsal artery now look carefully this artery moves back and max in astromosis with what and max in astromosis with the lateral malleolar branch of the anterior tibial artery so we write here it in astomos with it in astomos with the lateral malleolar branch of anterior tibial artery done friends so this was the first branch which is given by the uh, dorsalis pedis artery now let's see other branches look here are two small small branches and these are going to make anastomosis with the medial right with the medial malleolar branch you can see here so here i have shown two in some books they say that there are three but in some books say there are two so we, we have written here two or three it doesn't matter right so these are the medial tarsal branches right as here was the lateral tarsal branch there are two or three medial tarsal branches so let me write those medial tarsal branches here so the second branch which arises from this dorsalis pedis artery are called medial tarsal branches clear my dear friends medial tarsal branches as they are in the medial side of the foot right and they are supplying the tarsal bone they are present on the surface of the tarsal bones so that's why we call them the medial tarsal branches these arteries may be two or three in number first of all you should know that these arteries may be two or three in number the next important point about them is that they supply what do they supply they supply the tarsal bones the medial tarsal bones right so they supply tarsals the joints in between these tarsal bones right and uh, the muscles also and muscles also which are present here right so look they supply the tarsals the joints and the muscles uh, and also we should not forget that friends that they also supply the skin and the fascia it's very important they give cutaneous branches right so these cutaneous branches of these medial tarsal arteries or the lateral tarsal arteries or the dorsalis pedis artery they are responsible to supply blood the skin and fascia right friends so next important thing is that these arteries these two or three medial tarsal arteries make an astomosis with the medial anterior malleolar branch right so they anastomose with medial malleolar arteries or branches of uh, what of anterior tibial artery right friends 